So today I'm going to talk you through my Longchamp collection and I really hope you enjoy it. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, glad to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to slightly like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So today I'm going to take you through my Longchamp collection, what's also on the wish list. It's not only bags today, we're also talking accessories. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about the brand because, you know, particularly when it comes to luxury, I know a lot of individuals like to buy brands that have a certain amount of heritage. And I really do feel that Longchamp is one of those brands. It was founded in 1948 by Jean Cassegrain. And the first product group that was being produced by the brand was leather pipes, essentially. And um, he had a significant client base, many celebrities. Mr. Elvis Presley was apparently a client of, of his. Um, and also a number of the pipes also featured exotics. And through this exploration of leather products, there was then an expansion into um, passport holders and other small leather goods, which took the brand through the 50s and 60s. So in the 70s, the brand then started to turn its attention towards handbags. And the first handbag that this brand created was by reworking a toiletry pouch, adding long straps to flaps onto the particular bag. And they introduced a couple of different lines over the years. They introduced the LM line. They also introduced the extra line. It's also important to note that in the 70s, that was when the products that had been created relating to the smoking background, so pipes, etc., those were removed from the particular product line. So that's a really important point in time as that was where the brand really got its start. And the extra line was the predecessor to the Le Pliage because the extra was created so that it could fold down to a quarter of its size. Then you fast forward to the 90s and 1993 is when the Le Pliage steps into the collection. It has been, it has replaced the extra line. It is a bag that is created and inspired by origami and it is designed to fold. It is designed to be practical and versatile. It is arguably the most iconic of the Longchamp styles, arguably the most versatile and easy range to use in my opinion. It's a fabulous, fabulous bag. Also important to note that Longchamp was one of the first, if not the first brand to create bags out of nylon, handbags out of nylon. So they were really a forefront, at the forefront of fashion when it came to that particular use of material. And they've continued to develop that ever since because throughout the 2000s, following the conception of the Le Pliage, they've expanded into more product groups. They've expanded into ready to wear and shoes and travel. They have just completely grown the range. Then in the 2020s, they took a huge step when it came to sustainability and they started using Econal, which is an eco-friendly, recycled nylon fiber. And that is where you find the green collection. So there we have a little bit of history when it comes to the brand. Now let's get into my collection. So kicking things off with travel, I'm going to show these together because it just makes sense. I have two of the Le Pliage travel bags in the extra large size, top handle only. These are quite interesting. They are great if you are taking them from the car, from your home to the car and then to wherever you're going. If you need to carry these for a long time, they get a little bit on the heavy side, no shoulder strap. So just something to consider. I have one in gray. I also have one in green. Then I also have the smaller size. This is the size that in all honesty, I would recommend if it were me buying them again. I probably wouldn't go for the extra larges. I would just buy a couple of these um, large size because they can fit as cabin baggage. They are very practical, very easy to use. Don't get quite as heavy. My first ever Longchamp bag was this particular yellow travel bag, which you know will always hold a sentimental place in my heart because it was the thing that started this 
what some might call an obsession with the brand, but these are Le Pliage original travel bags, large size. Now let's go for one that's a firm favourite on this channel. This one gets a lot of attention and it gets a lot of compliments. This is a Le Pliage large top handle from Le Pliage collection. This I believe was from 2018, although I bought it in 2020, so I got it for a sweet deal. Um, and it's just a great, very easy to use top handle bag. This could also be a great overnight bag if you didn't need to take that much stuff. It's just very, very versatile, comes with a shoulder strap as well, gunmetal hardware, black leather, this fun geometric print. This is also a fantastic unisex bag. I don't think that fashion has a gender, as you know. However, I do think this is a really good unisex bag if that's kind of something that you something that you're looking for. But great piece, very happy to have it. Don't use it as much as I used to. I used to use it day in, day out. Don't use it as much as I used to, but when I do, I enjoy it. Now, speaking of ones that I don't use that often, how can I not talk about the adorable small top handle Le Pliage? And this was in collaboration with Pokemon. This was from 2021, I want to say. I bought this in May 2021. Basically, I don't use it very often, but when I do, how fun is that? It is a lovely small top handle, which is a 24 centimetre bag, I believe. Doesn't come with a shoulder strap, top handle only, black leather, this little ring pull, really, really cute, really sweet. It's just a fun, oh, there's Mark. Ah. Okay, let's hope that comes off. <laughs> Bit of discoloration there, that's fine. I'll get at it with a nylon cleaner. But this is just a great, fun little piece. I've spoken about this before in terms of a bag that I think that I now don't regret. It was a good decision not selling this. I really love it. It's great fun. The next three bags I will show you together. I'm just trying to keep this a little bit more concise, but I will show you them one after the other. So we have my gym bag, which is this Le Pliage backpack, and I think the colour is called Antique Pink. It's just, it's a nice enough one. Um, this was my second backpack that I bought. I use it as my gym bag. It does very well as that. It's quite a chic gym bag, I think, actually. I know some people use key pulls and stuff, but I'm just not, I'm not here for that. I think this is a pretty chic gym bag, long chomp. Um, it's great, easy to use, just throw on your shoulder. Don't have to worry too much about it. Um, does it make my heart sing? No. Is it a good bag? Yes. Next up, probably one of my least used bags, and this is my... Longchamp Le Pliage backpack in the cloud blue. The colour is absolutely beautiful. The thing is, I just should have bought it in a different style of bag because I love the blue. I think it's fabulous. But should I have bought this particular bag style? No, I don't think I should. I think I probably should have got it in a top handle. I bought my mum the top handle. Didn't buy it for myself. Silly Nick. And my first Le Pliage backpack the one that actually I used a significant amount is this one in the beige. This is the club. They are all club styles. I should have said that um, is the club. And this is in the beige with the cobalt blue. I, before I bought that geometric top handle, this was my day in, day out bag. I don't use it like I should. It's a little bit dirty. It's a little bit marked. I've told the story how it had a beer spilt on it at a rugby match. Um, and it's just never been the same since. But it is a bag that when I feel like being a little bit carefree, not worrying too much, this is a great one to pull out. So easy to use. I would recommend the backpacks. You just don't need three. One is enough. But they're fabulous. You just don't need three. Next up, let's go to today's bag of the day. This was my... Longchamp Rousseau large top handle. I have this particular one in a um, monogrammed canvas and then it has this beautiful burgundy mock crop leather. It's a stunning piece, really practical, easy to use. I recently did a comparison of this with my Mulberry Bays waters and my Aspen of London tote. This didn't come out as favourably as you know it really probably deserved to but the Aspen of tote is just so bloody good. But this is a beautiful bag. I highly recommend it. Um, stunning. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. But yes, it's a lovely piece. Great work bag. Great everyday bag. 
Can it get heavy? Yes, but I just think it's so chic. And it has feet, always a win. Beautiful piece, love it. Now let's go to another piece from Les Pliage Collection. And we have the Longchamp Les Pliage Collection in the canvas. This was their pride bag last year. I bought it as soon as I got the email to say this is available, called the store, Regent Street, and said, please send me this, and they did. Do I use it like I should? No. Have I fallen more in love with it as time's gone on? Yes. This bag and I have had a bit of a roller coaster because I didn't love it at first. Well, I loved it because of what it represented, but the bag fell a bit flat for me. The more I've used it, the more I've liked it. Very easy to use, large top handle, super light because of the materials they've used. Black leather, very easy to take care of. Also comes with a shoulder strap if that is your thing. I carry this exclusively top handle, but I love it. And it's actually really easy to style as well um, because you can basically pick out any of these colors and then the gray canvas is very neutral. So it's just a beautiful item. Very glad I own it. And I'm very glad that I own a piece of a brand that I loves, Pride Collection. Let's round things off with my final set of duplicates. As you will notice, there are two bags missing. I have moved on my two document holders. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that I have a do or had a document holder in blue and a document holder in purple. They've gone. I just couldn't justify having them sat there. I didn't want any money for them. I just wanted to stop looking at them and real and thinking I don't use them. So I moved them on. I gave them to a family member. She absolutely loves them. So that is a win as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, let's get into my last set of duplicates. And it is, of course, the Les Pliage medium top handles. And I've got them folded so you can just see how easily they fold. These are super for travel. They're super for ease of use. You can just style these in such a simple way, I think. I absolutely adore them. Um, you, I tend to put an organiser in them when I'm using them. I just move the organiser between whichever one. I recently went to France and I took all four with me. They were absolutely wonderful. I just moved the organiser between them and they just did me so well. The colours are so vibrant and so fun. They're easy to look after. I just love them. And for the price point, you can own multiple of these and make them match your outfits without needing to spend an absolute fortune. You can own five of these and you've spent less than £500 which I think is a really good price point for a bag that is a mixture of nylon and leather. Absolutely stunning. That's my yellow. This is in yellow. I bought this at the same time as the yellow and I absolutely adore it. This is in the color Cactus. I love it with this scarf, the cobalt blue. Just a stunning, stunning bag. Again, so easy to use, so easy to pair. I wear this quite a lot when I'm wearing pink because I think pink and green is a great combination. It's a beautiful shade of green as well. I think it's fabulous. And again, folds so, so easily. You just throw that on over the top, fold it up. There you go, it's all refolded. So easy, that pack's so light, so slimline. Absolutely adore it. Then we have the green collection. This is my more formal of my four Le Pliage medium top handles. Um, this is from the green collection. So this uses that eco Nile recycled material that I previously discussed. It is in the color snow. This color has been discontinued, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. I really do love it. I think it's stunning. I also love the green piping on the ears. I think that is such a fun detail that's quite subtle. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I've worn this a few times recently, a little bit more formally. So I'm really enjoying it. Really easy to use, really easy to maintain, very easy to style. Love it, I think it's beautiful. And to round the bag section off, because we'll quickly rattle through accessories in a moment, you have to know the OG of this collection, the MVP of my bag collection, my beautiful fuchsia Le Pliage top handle. I adore this. I think this is so fabulous. How fabulous is this with this outfit as well? I'm not actually wearing Longchamp, funny enough, considering I'm doing a Longchamp video. I'm actually not wearing Longchamp. I probably should have been. Anyway, 
This is just the most fabulous bag. I love the colour. This shade of pink is just stunning. The pink leather, I love the mixture with the scarf that I've got as well. So good styling to me because, boop, that was me putting it together. Again, it's just so easy to use, so easy to pair, so easy to style. It's just absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. 10 out of 10 bag. Oh, I'm so glad that I own it. I'm so glad. Oh, it's just me in a bag. This is just me in a bag. And I know I've said that about another bag. I know I said that about my Kurt Geiger rainbow top handle, but I can be in two bags. Why not? You know, I can have multiple personalities. So this is my dominant one, however. It's just beautiful. And they're super practical. They're just a big open space with a couple of pockets and put an organizer in it and you can fit pretty much everything that you would ever need. Most people will consider this a big bag. I consider this to be like an average size bag, but only because I love huge bags. So this is fabulous, beautiful, perfection. I love it. Okay, and now let's talk about the accessories that I have. I only have a few actually. And of course my sales history is bigger with Longchamp than this, than this collection, which have you believe, because I buy a lot of gifts from Longchamp. Um, but you know, this is what I own myself. This was gifted to me after a not so great experience with the brand. They very kindly gifted this to me. This is the Longchamp by Andre Scarf from the collection that came out relatively recently. Um, and it's just this really beautiful cotton scarf with kind of one of the one of the signature prints. And then you've got Longchamp 1948, which as we know, is when the brand was conceived. It's a beautiful piece. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. I think, I think what I'm going to do is iron it, because it needs an iron, and then I think I'll frame it. So I need to go and find a frame that this could fit in, because I think that would be really beautiful as a decorative piece. It doesn't work for me as a scarf. It doesn't work as a kind of twilly or bag charm type thing for me either. So I think it should be used as a decoration. So very grateful to have been gifted that. That was absolutely fabulous. Um, and I really like that I have a piece of that collection because I could not get my hands on anything else for love nor money. So if you want to know more about that story, I will link it below. And let's go to the next accessory. This beautiful little compact mirror. I love their compact mirrors. I bought a few of these as gifts as well. I think they are fabulous. Um, yeah, they just fold out and then you can fold it so that the mirror can stand on its own. It's just a really beautiful piece. I love this blush pink, very much my vibe, as you know. So I love that. A piece that I was gifted comes in this beautiful dust bag. This was gifted to me by a very dear friend for my birthday this year. Um, and, or last year, should I say, because this is a stunning pink luggage tag. If you were to compare this to the Hermes colour chart, I think this would be Rose Mexico. I think this is what that would kind of compare to. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's from the Lay for Long collection. It is just lovely. And I'm really looking forward to using it, but I think I will use it on a piece of carry-on luggage opposed to a checked bag because it's just too nice to go in the hold. I didn't use it this time. I just didn't think about it. But the next overseas trip I have, I will probably put this on. If I use my Mulberry Bays water again as carry-on, not a very good carry-on bag, but it's chic. Um, if I use that, maybe I'll use this. But from the Le Foulon collection, one of my hands down best purchases is this beautiful six ring, now five ring key holder. One of them fell off, which is why it's a five ring key holder. But it's in this beautiful blue. Again, I bought a few of these as gifts as well. They are just very chic. I have undenied about replacing this with a Louis Vuitton one, but I just think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is great. Love the leather, love the color, fabulous piece. And finally, a piece that I recommend every single person gets in their collection. They don't make this exact one anymore, but you can buy the pouch with handle instead. One of the nylon cosmetics cases. Again, I bought these as gifts. I have one, I have mine in this beautiful cobalt blue. I wanted to get this colour in a bag, but then I thought actually it's probably not very me. So I went for the cosmetics case instead. And it was a really great, it was a really great choice. Now, I know what people say about using cosmetics cases as bags, but if you wanted to, you could get a little insert and kind of use it as a little, a little clutch 
if you wanted to, you know, sheep, maybe, I don't know, I wouldn't, but you could. Um, it's lovely, it's got this little leather tab, the lovely Longchamp silver hardware. It's just beautiful, so easy, very easy to find in a bag, white clean, everything that I think a cosmetics pouch should be. And like I said, you can now buy the pouch with handle. And finally, let's quickly talk about the wish list. The wish list has a few different things on it. Um, nothing too elaborate, but a few different things. The first thing being a pouch with handle. Now I'm a little bit out of sorts as to which pouch with handle to go with. I know that I want one, but I don't know which one I want, which is why I haven't bought one yet. I am debating between the pouch with handle from the green collection in the color flower, or do I go for one in the city collection, which is the canvas. I haven't quite decided which one I want. So like I said, I'm a bit stalled. The price point difference is £60 or £90. So there is a little bit of a difference there and it does make a difference because it's a small item. I'm sure some people would use them as bags. I wouldn't. They would just be cosmetics cases. And then I also think, I know I really want one, but I do use this one a lot and it's fine. So should I change it? I don't know. I don't know what to do. What would you do? Would you go for any? Which one would you go for? Let me know. In a similar vein, I would really like another lay pliage. I'm going to add a custom or a um, personalised lay pliage very soon. I'm going to go in and see my sales associate and do that, which I'm excited about. I'm also going to add the lay pliage in the colour Thunderstorm. I've spoken about that a few times. I'm absolutely doing it. I will probably pick that up at the same time that I do my personalised order because it takes a number of weeks for the personalised order to come in. So in the meantime, I just want to enjoy a new lay pliage. So I'm very excited about that. But I'm also debating, do I also buy the flower? Because I love this peach tone of pink. I think it's beautiful. It would work very well with my wardrobe. I've talked about wanting to add something in a baby pink. Is that the item that I go for? I don't know. What do you think I should do? I really appreciate your opinion. I really appreciate your insight. Do you think I should just throw caution to the wind, pick up the personalised version, pick up Thunderstorm, pick up the flower? What do you think? Where do we go from here? Now, one that's just a little collector's piece, but I think would be fun, and I need to try and speak to my sales associate because it says it's out of stock on the website, is the book about Le Pliage. As someone who's passionate about Longchamp, owns a number of their products, particularly Le Pliage pieces, I'd like to know a little bit more about the creation of them, the heritage of them, so I think this will be a fun little piece from a collector's perspective. And finally, to round things off, I would love another Rousseau in a large size. They're, now, the current range consists of Turtle Dove, which is a grey, consists of black, and then there's one other colour that I can't remember because the blush went in the sale and never came back. So as chic as it is in black leather, and believe you me, it is, it's beautiful, I want one in a really vibrant pop of colour. They don't tend to do the Rousseaus in bright colours. They did the mock croc in the medium in lemon, which was stunning, but I want the large size. The large size works the best for me, and I'm not going to compromise on that. I would rather just hold out and just wait for the right one to come along. Maybe one will pop up at outlet, I'm not too sure, but I would really love a full leather Longchamp Rousseau in a bright pop of colour. Longchamp, if you're listening, baby pink, hot pink, but not that kind of blush. That was beautiful, but maybe something that's a little bit more towards... I guess this colour would be fabulous, but maybe hot pink. Let's go there. Just something really fun. Just something a little bit playful, maybe a turquoise, like bright green, lime green. Just something very out there, neon, whatever that may be. But large Rousseau leather pop of colour. So there we have it, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have stuck with me throughout this whole video, please put the horse vid horse video, horse emoji down in the comments. I love to know who's stuck with me. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my collection, hearing what's on my wish list, and finding out a little bit more about the brand. Anyway, thank you so much as always for watching, and I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.